So we've been looking for ways to streamline teachers providing feedback to students. And one of our teachers uh, talked about this Google Chrome extension today, and I just had to share it. It's called Moat, M-O-T-E. Um, and this is to create voice comments in Google's uh, docs, slides, and sheets. Um, so you could go to the Chrome Web Store to find the Moat extension and add it to your Google Chrome web browser. Um, once you've added it, this little M um, Moat icon will show up. All right, and when you click on that, it's going to ask you to sign in with Google. Once you've signed in with Google, then you will find this. All right, so you want to sign in with Google so that it links your Google account to um, to the extension. All right, um, and then any doc sheets or slides that you open that you and then you'll be able to um, use this commenting feature. So they have this great little slideshow here at the bottom of this. Um, of this website that pops up after you've downloaded the extension um, and it walks you through this step. So you would just open any doc um, sheets or slides. Um, this could also be from Google Classroom. So if you're if you're great if you're grading student work, um, you can do that as well. All right. You would highlight just like you would to comment normally. You would highlight what you want to comment on. All right, and then you would click the little add comment um, button. All right, the little plus sign in the little like dialog box. All right, so once you open that, all right, you're going to see a start recording button. So you would click the start recording button to start recording. Um, you get a minute, which is which is a lot of time to leave a comment. And once you're finished, uh, you'll get this option. All right, to leave your comment. So you would click comment and then it will change it to this which is your comment so here what it does is it transcribes what you've said so they would be able to read what you said and then they would be able to hit the play button to also hear what you said so you could imagine that this would be really useful for special education students um you know students who you know have difficulty with reading you know any of our wilson students who might need to hear things um or students who are struggling with younger students who are just learning um, sentence structure and um, things like that. So this might be a really good way for them to hear you. You can also edit these comments. So if you do it and you have an error, you can edit the transcript. All right. Or if it accidentally records something and uh, it's not correct, you can edit it that way as well. All right. Oh, skipping ahead. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so you can do that. So this is what it would look like. Okay. Um, so here, uh, is another thing that you can do with Moat. So um, you can add URLs to the comment and what it will do is it will change that comment into a uh, preview of that website. So this is similar, something similar that happens when you add links to social media um, where it will change it into the, um, it's just nicer looking, isn't it? Um, when you see that preview with the images and stuff. And then the final thing that you can do with Moat is, um, is add emojis. <laughs> So if you like to add emojis to things, you can do that as well. So you could see that this might be a really useful tool um, for anybody who's looking for new ways to provide feedback to students. And I really appreciate the teacher who recommended this to us. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day.